Good evening. I know it's real late. It's like almost 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but I wanted to bring this alert to you guys, especially everyone out there in California. But then there's some strange stuff going on under the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know, you know, it's MSN, you know, it's the Main Street me mainstream media, so I don't know what they're up to. Now, um, it's out on the Twitter sphere. There's a huge fire right now in California, and it's right on the San Andreas Fault. It's in northern uh, L.A. I used to live in California, so I'm always, like, watching stuff that goes on in California. In L.A., I used to live um, on Wilshire. So a, a major, huge fire just broke out. Right, and all the news outlets are talking about it. Okay. Massive brush fire erupts near Los Angeles National Forest. That's northern LA. And it's actually right on the San Andreas Fault. Okay, that's where the fire is about an hour ago. Now, here's the weird thing that I noticed, because I'm always earth watching. Um, all the mainstream media news outlets, they're all putting out these stories about boomerang earthquake detected under the Atlantic Ocean for the first time. Rare earthquake that they claim that they've been looking for forever. And a boomerang earthquake, as you can see here, as CNN is saying, is boomerang earthquakes may mean one earthquake can strike twice. I don't know. And here is National Geographic talking about it two days ago. Weird boomerang earthquake detected underneath the Atlantic Ocean. They're all talking about it. Earthquake swarm near San Andreas Fault. Now, um, that fire that broke out, again, San Andreas Fault, there's, they're saying it, it's because of the plates rubbing, blah, blah, and stuff like that. Um, so it's pretty bad, but then I want to know how that ties in with the whole earthquake, strange boomerang earthquake, um, detected all of a sudden that was never detected before in the Atlantic Ocean. And then I'm looking at this. I find this very interesting. Android is becoming a worldwide earthquake detection network. I don't know. Here it is, talking about Android being a detection network. San Andreas Fault earthquake swarm. Then we have that fire that just, that was a day ago. Okay, they're talking about the earthquake. San Andreas earthquake storm sparks fears of the big one. So that's why, and I had put out a video yesterday saying that I thought something real big was going to happen, earthwise. And um, that is what made me go searching for this. Because I saw the tweet on the fire, and then I was like, where's the fire? And then I discovered it was on the San Andreas Fault. And then while looking for that, I discovered this strange information about this, um, about the um, boomerang earthquakes. So... I just want to say heads up to everyone. Um, when it comes to the mainstream media, this is just me, how I take it when they say stuff. They're talking about this never detected earthquake that could hit twice. The boomerang quote unquote earthquake. Um, and they're saying it's in the Atlantic, and now you have the fires breaking out on the San Andreas Fault, and they're talking about the big one. I, I know they love their fear tactics, especially with everything going right now. They want distraction, distraction, distractions. Um, so I feel this is a humongous distraction, but I don't dispel the notion of them trying to trigger something the same way they did to Haiti, you know? Uh, I do believe, it, I, I do honestly believe um, they use the harp machines, you know, uh, they use harp, um, and there, there's other crazy methods that they have, so I don't put it past the deep state, I don't put it past, you know, I don't put it past those people, 
because of everything going on right now, they're at the verge of co complete collapse. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And the Schumann was totally, I was all ready to go rollerblading when I got knocked off my butt. Um, the Schumann was completely off the charts. <clears throat> Take a quick look at it. Yeah, it went up to 64. Look at that. Uh, and I know many of you have not been sleeping because God knows I have not been sleeping at all for the past couple of weeks. And it's just been getting crazier and crazier because I'm feeling so many earth activities. So yeah, look at this bad boy, 64. Not that it's bad, it's actually good. So there's a lot going on and it's not, you know, it's not to say that it can't be a completely natural event, what's going on here. But what's making me question things is the MSN, Main Street Media, all of them coming out with the same talking points. You know, they come out, their talking points, something's really fishy. So that's what has me perked up thinking, mm, something's fishy going on here especially with the boomerang earthquake, and now all of a sudden this is happening on the San Andreas Fault, and they all were talking about it for the, you know, over 48, you know, for like the past 24 hours, you know, so I don't trust them. Any which ways, head up, heads up, y'all. Love you guys. Be safe.